Hi everyone, it's Killshot from 99 Gaming. This is The Walking Dead Season 7, Who Will Kill Negan First? Disclaimer, we know Negan is not going to die this season, probably won't die next season, so we're going to talk about some of the different plots that are out there in order to get to him. Warning, this will contain predictions and spoilers, and it will contain exact spoilers from this week's episode, the mid-season finale. If you don't want to know what's going to go on, turn away right now. Later on in the week, we will give you the full, complete spoiler, step by step. So let's talk about the people that have a plan to kill Negan, starting with Michonne. So this started out innocent enough. I did not see this coming. She's walking along, whistling, attracting walkers. I thought she was trying to perfect her katana skills after she had a rough time with a sniper rifle what we didn't know she's putting in the work she killed multiple walkers dragging them setting up the walker roadblock of course that is going to stop traffic and who did she stop she stopped Isabel, here's one of your major spoilers for this week. She wants Isabel to take her back to Negan. However, when she finds out where the sanctuary is, she's going to catch and release Isabel. I'll tell you more a little bit later on in the week. She does not kill Isabel, which could be a grave mistake. We do know in this week's episode coming up that Michonne and Rick will meet. They'll have a moment down by the cell where Negan is potentially going to be locked up. And Michonne is going to tell Rick she knows where the sanctuary is. And she's going to tell Rick we need to start fighting. And Rick finally will agree. We'll get rid of sad face Rick. And we'll finally get a little bit of a battle started back up. Let's move on and talk about the next person that wants to kill Negan. And it is Rosita. Rosita may have the best plan of anyone. She's planned this out tactically. She went out. She uh, killed the walkers. She found the gun. Then she knew Eugene could make her a bullet. So her and Eugene go on a little bit of a trek. Now the problem is convincing Eugene to actually step up and do it. She did gets there. She does uh, play on his ego a little bit, plays on his guilt, talks about Abraham. Eugene goes through, makes the bullet for Rosita, so she's got one gun, one bullet, and you know her attempt is going to be to assassinate Negan. When they arrive back at Alexandria, they say they're here, and Rosita said he's here. It's all about killing Negan. Spoiler alert for this week, Rosita will take a shot at Negan. However, she misses and hits Lucille, and because she hits Lucille, a rat will shoot Olivia right in the face. Sorry to tell you guys this. Moving on to Carl. Carl, no chance whatsoever. First of all, Carl had a weak plan. It was very poorly executed. He had a shot. He could have taken a shot at Negan before Negan used the human shield. I think Carl's starting to enjoy his time with Negan way too much. He's going to become a future serial killer. And Negan is actually playing off that as well, too, where he's taking notes. He's learned a little bit more about Carl. And ultimately, he's going to manipulate him and get exactly what he wants. Maybe make Carl into one of his soldiers in the future. Leave your thoughts and comments below. I don't think Carl is ever going to get a chance to kill Negan. How about Dwight or Daryl? Could one of these two actually step up? Daryl does not have the means to do it at this point. He's just now getting his energy back. He's, he has been studying a little bit, paying a lot of attention. He will break out this week, so we do know that. Uh, that's another major spoiler for you guys. Dwight, on the other hand, I think Dwight's got a couple more weeks. He still need a little bit more convincing. I think something is going to happen with Cher that's going to push him over the edge and force him to go to Alexandria. So don't expect Dwight to step up and take an attempt at assassinating Negan anytime soon. He is planning an exit strategy. I will tell you, Daryl does escape. We do know the matches were left there as a path to get him out of there. And Daryl will kill someone this week, but unfortunately it will not be Negan. It is going to be... Fat Joey will meet his demise this week via Daryl. He's going to try to stop him, and then Daryl and Jesus will ride off back to Alexandria on motorcycles. There is no I in team, as we talked about. There's multiple chances to kill Negan. I'm very concerned with Rosita. Rosita's plan is out for a long time. She wants to kill Negan. She has the gun. She has the bullet. Eugene is going to be kidnapped, taken back to the sanctuary because Negan sees the value of Eugene being able to make those bullets. Could Rosita become suicidal because now she's missed her attempt, or will she be there for all-out war? I hope she's there for all-out war, but I'm very concerned about her long-term mental health. And Michonne. Michonne actually has the advantage now because she knows where the sanctuary is. She's gotten Rick back on the right side. But look for Michonne to be that voice of reason and really start to get everyone back on the same page. I think she'll be the uniting force with Hilltop, also with the Kingdom, and getting Alexandria back in fighting mode as well, too. And a little bit more mentally stable, I think, than Rosita. She's not just about revenge. She's about revenge and doing it the right way. Thanks, everyone, for watching. My name is Killshot. There are some of your spoilers. We'll get the full spoiler alert later on this week. Thanks once again, 60,000 subscribers. I love all of you. Give this video a thumbs up and leave your thoughts and your comments below.